Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Area 30. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, my God. This is obnoxious. This is getting really obnoxious. People just love destroying my base. And they're not even, like, destroying it in a good way. And I guarantee you my roof has been destroyed yet again for, like, the 18th time. People just love destroying my stuff. Like, um... Someone's been to my base because this there was no hole there. There, or there was a hole there. Why is this not working? Oh, there you go. It's working. Someone's been in my base. Someone killed all of my golems. Or took out most of the golems except for you. Did you end up killing him? Someone's been up here. Someone actually made it to the top. How'd they get through? Oh, I wonder if they took an ender pearl and ender pearl glitched through. That's very possible. Unless they somehow destroyed these. Which is also possible, I guess, in its own way. But let, let me go. Let me go quickly check. <clears throat> Did they? No, because this is all protected. This isn't. Oh wait, these are protected. Um, everything's still protected. There's a little flux in here. That's fine. It's acceptable. So how did they get in? Did I leave one of my doors open? That's quite possible. I do forget about my doors more often than not. How did they? See, I'm wondering because is that protected? through there in that little crack I wonder if those yellow ones are because if those are broken then what they're gonna be able to do is they're gonna be able to actually go ahead and break these open those yellow ones and then they could throw an ender pearl in here and actually get into my base I didn't even think of that I guarantee you that's what they did I guarantee you that's what they did and it's not like the end of the world I don't really care if they take out my golems because I have like 30 something more that I haven't even put down yet so that's fine they can destroy my golems all they want still not enough to defeat me though um, but we're gonna go ahead here and collect some this because I've been running out of this in this wand and um, the fact that people have been getting into my base whether it's snake or Tyser I don't really know um, but <clears throat> I don't think it's Tyser because he's he's been he's been giving me gifts um, as if I was his ally so but like <clears throat> I just, I don't know who to trust anymore, and I think it's a good idea just to kind of be my, oh, I did not mean to open that up, um, but I think it's a good idea just to be my own person, kind of have my own, have my own way of doing things at this point, because I, th there's just only, there's very few people in this world that I can still um, wholeheartedly trust, if that makes sense. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just gathering this and kale. God dang it. I don't want to waste the this in this thing, but I keep accidentally doing that. Um, but I want to make sure that I can eventually, um, in case something goes wrong, because the fact that everyone's sort of, it seems anyway that everyone's teaming up against me. The fact that everyone seems to be teaming up against me is a bad sign. Um, am I full on that? Oh, I am. So I just need Perdicio and fire and air. Okay. Um, but the fact that everyone seems to be teaming up on me is kind of, it's it's kind of a scary thought in my opinion because I may be powerful and many of you guys know that I am I am not weak um, by any means am I like no I'm not weak I'm very powerful and the only thing that makes me nervous is the fact that with everyone teaming up against me there is a chance that they could defeat me there is a very very big chance that they could defeat me now are they going to heck no i'm not gonna let them and this is here why this wand whether they were to ever, if they were ever to capture me if they were ever to do anything to me trust me on this they wouldn't be able to hold me because of this great band of wand this portable hole i have attached to this right now is so overpowered it's it's so overpowered and i'm not worried and I totally think they would overlook the fact that my wands are more powerful than anything they've ever seen. And why did he destroy my floor too? Really? This is obnoxious. I'm gonna have to repair my base now. Um, but yeah. Um, so anyway, so we're gonna go ahead here and I haven't actually scanned. No, I did scan the de deconstruction table. I've scanned the golems. It looks like they took out the Talos. I'm surprised they were able to defeat them. It really does surprise me. They took out a lot on this floor. Did they go down even further? They took out... Nope, not on that floor. Okay, so they didn't go down too far because they would have gotten absolutely destroyed. Uh, have I scanned you, Mr. Tallow Golem? I have not. Well, let me scan you and get some stuff from you. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> overall, guys, I'm not too worried. The fact that they got my base is nothing. The fact that they took out my golems is nothing. I can make golems like they're like air. I mean, they're, they're literally nothing. Plus, I have a lot of arcane armor now and stuff like that, so it's not a big deal. Um, I've been I've been working on a few rings. I'm 90% done with the rings, and once I get these rings done, 
let me just show you what they'll do in the Thaumonomicon because these things are actually really powerful. So if we go here and go to the Artifice tab and head over to these rings, I'm actually working on the Kinetic Girdle of Shielding, which is a belt. And what it is, is I'm going to use the Girdle of Runic Shielding and the Kinetic Girdle of Runic Shielding. This one gives you plus 9, this one gives you plus 10. So this one's technically better, but this one's better, if that makes sense, than even that one. So and he, he, here's why. So this one right here, uh, this is a specialized version of the Girdle of Shielding. It has slightly less charge than the Girdle it is based on, but when your shielding is breached, a detonation of kinetic energy will be released, damaging and shoving anything ne back nearby. So basically, it has a little less protection, but it has an attack bonus as well, where if it runs out of shielding, it basically attacks whatever's nearby, and it's really good. Next, we have the, the other one I'm going to wear is the Revitalizing Ring of Shielding. So this one is going to give me f plus four runic shielding, and this is a specialized version of the ring of shielding, um, which has a little bit more. Uh, it has slightly less charge than the ring it is based on, but when your runic shielding is breached, it will release a pulse of regenerative energy that will last for a few seconds. This effect cannot trigger more than once every uh, 20 seconds, so it will heal me and I believe heal the runic shielding. There's a few others that I could make that I'm not sure. You have the amulet of emergency shielding. Uh, it has slightly less charge than its counterpart. Um, but when your shielding is breached, this upgrade will instantly add 8 charge to your shielding amount. So basically it gives you an extra 8 charge, which is also really good. And then I've thought about doing the charge ring of shielding, but I'm not too interested in it, so I decided against it. Other things we've worked on. Now, again, there was a glitch with these tools that we ended up losing live on stream, and we went over this. We don't know why these are gone. I own all the tools, but uh, the research went away. So we're trying to figure that out, because now I can't remake my sword and pickaxe, and they're about to break. So I need to figure that out soon. Um, we do have all these helmets. I should eventually go ahead and make one of these helmets. Um, if anything, I'd want to make probably the Sipping Fiend faceplate or the Grinning Devil faceplate, um, which are probably the more fun ones. I like the Grinning Devil is okay, but I think I like this red one the best. Um, and what you do is to get it, this mask is designed. It's So you put it and surround it in this. Now it looks, which is kind of weird because it looks, in this picture, it looks like it's no different. Um, but I wish, I hope it looks like this by the time we're done. I hope it has that red emblem to it, but I'm not sure if it will. Um, but if it does, what it will do is this mask is designed to be added to an existing Thaumian Fortress helm. Uh, when you strike a creature in combat while wearing this mask, you steal a small portion of their life. The fact that you do this by, um, by so um, souping? Is that the word they're using? Yeah, souping up on their blood doesn't seem to bother you nearly as much as it should. You wonder if you should be worried about that. Probably not. Probably not. I, I mean, I've done more crazy stuff than that. Um, and that Golem, can you? It's really obnoxious that my golems have been taken out. I must say, I'm kind of annoyed. Actually, wait, wait. I have a way to get through here. Uh, let's go ahead and switch back to Wisp Farm. What if I do this to get through here? Is there anything? Can I can I do that or is it because it's protected that I can't? Okay, because it's protected, I can't do that. And it looks like that's using a lot of Perdicio. So we gotta go. Let's go see if we can get some more Perdicio because I want to make sure I have this on full at most times. Because if I don't, I can actually pretty much be captured anywhere. Because I need it needs to have as long a range as possible. And I believe it has a max range of about 13, uh, 13 blocks. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, so there we go. We'll take that. And okay, so we'll head back to the base. I'm going to do a little work here, try to fix up the base a tad. And uh, I'll be back once I fix up the base. That sound good? Good. And I'm back, guys. So uh, I repaired it all. I actually put all the golems down here instead because that way no one's going to actually expect them down there. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to head outside here because one I still have to I still have to repair this right here. Uh, but we're going to go out here. We're going to head over here <gasps> and. Let's see. Whoa. What? Rye guy's fridge of power from tight. This was not here. But did he literally just pay me a visit while I was gone? Dear Ryan, this is a token of my love and friendship. Uh, this will prove my loyalty. Drink some of each and take a nap in the bed of greatness. Love, Tyser XX. And you know what's funny? I know it's Tyser because he always puts XX. It's it's true. So let's see. I gotta hit. I gotta hit the button. Yeah, and yeah. Well, what is this? Okay, so I have a potion of power. And he said there was a few. Oh, we got another one. And there should be another. Is there any more? Is that it? So that's it. So we have the potion of... <clears throat> Let's see. So we have the potion of destruction. Oh, hello. Hi, zombie. Uh, can you please leave me alone? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to read some potions off. Okay, you need to, like, go away. You need to go away. Okay. Um, let's see. So potion of power destruction and strict so he said i did drink a little bit of each of these and what, what what happens exactly i don't know 
Let's let's just drink a little bit of each. Here we go. So let's start with the destruction, then power, then strength. So the, the that one, then I drink a little bit of that one, and then I drank a little bit of that one, and then I. I'm so tired. I gotta take a nap in the bed of the crate. Okay, let's just take a nap in. The... Yeah, take a bit. Okay. Let's go see him. Let's okay. Go let's go have a little look. Good night. Oh God. Yes. We've got him. We've done it, guys. We've got him. Look at him. Yes. Right, right. Let's take him now. This is let's our chance. It. Let's do it. Let's do it. 